mean, look, uh, over the next three days, Ken Wingard is going to be here busy building a bed. Let's show you what what the intention is and what we're going for, which I'm sure he's going to nail. This is a beautiful rendition, artist rendition of, oh, wow. of right? And we're going to make this, and it's going to be very affordable. Today, what are we constructing? So we're going to make the headboard because most of us have, whether we like to admit it or not, the metal bed frame that you put the, you know, whatever, you have to attach a headboard. And mm -hmm. buying the headboard itself can be very expensive. Um, the sort of chic look right now is that upholstered soft French linen with either tufting or nail heads and those cost around $1,500 if you get sort of yeah, a medium expensive. range one. Right. They're expensive, right. Uh, we were just talking, how would you, a scale of one to 10, Brendan, where's your level, of your skill set? Of building a bed? Yeah. Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, actually, my wife and I are, uh, we're, we're purchasing a home and we have to get a new bed for my son. So if this turns out, I might actually buy this bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, bringing a, I'm bringing a bed home, honey. It's always <laughs> easiest to write a check, I'll tell you that, rather than get your. No, I, well, I can't put anything together. Well, well this kind of stuff, like what I'm gonna show you now, we know we're doing sort of the big Big, glamorous master bedroom but for kids room you pick a different fabric you pop that up there because you know for kids room this is gonna cost you 40 bucks yeah yeah you know yeah. Right. and you do it with your kid you bond yeah yeah perfect you're like, yeah you're so no, not doing it yeah, that's like, <laughs> you're so not bonding doing with it. my kid over building a bed <laughs> still trying to get him to eat <laughs> all right what do we need to get started on this other than maybe some Cheerios so yeah. uh, the, the bed we're gonna make to get this upholster look what we're gonna need is a sheet of plywood and you want okay. um, half inch to an inch okay. Okay. and just get the really cheap stuff. It doesn't need to look good. Doesn't need to be paint gray. It can be covered in knots and splinters. It'll cost you about 20 bucks. And then you want to get insulation foam, which is what I have here. And um, you want to get two inch thick. When you go to get this to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, it's rigid insulation. They're going to ask you all sorts of questions like, what kind of R rating do you want? He's like, no, I just want it two inches thick. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, and that's just all you're going to need. Go for the PG-13. It's much better than the R rating. Yeah. Boom, boom. You Thank got, you. You've got so, so many. I did. They're all, they just fall out. I, I, then, I fell out of my pocket. I caught. You're going to need a staple gun and then a quilting batting. So very okay. simple, all very easily. And and this is going to seem complicated, like when you say make your own padded headboard. But I'm really going to break it down to you. It's really simple. Anyone can do it at home. It's only going to take us two days to do the headboard, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to actually dress it properly so it looks like one of those magazines. Right, let's so, get started. What do we need? So to start off, I, I did our basics earlier this morning. We have a tape of what I did. So I got the, the plywood. Now they come in four by eight sheets. So you need a full sheet if you want a queen size bed. And then I cut it down to 60 inches. I cut it myself, but for two bucks, they'll cut it for you. Okay. And then you want to get your shape. There are lots of shapes you can do. I want something sort of over the top. So I did a trash can lid to get a nice big round. I measured down on each side the same amount. And then I used a five gallon bucket to do these little corner cutouts. Um, and then you just repeat the exact same thing on the other side. We still have you at this point, right? I was just, just drawing. You, you, you got me. Okay. <laughs> right or trash can. <laughs> and then you just cut it out with a, with a jigsaw. Now, if you don't want to get, for someone like you, yes. you could actually just leave it the big rectangle and have a you know big classic rectangle. But <laughs> yeah. with the buckets and the trash can, that's what I got. And then all you're going to do is get some adhesive. I'm using liquid nails, but any sort of adhesive will do. And then you lay your sheet of styrofoam, which comes the same size as the plywood, right on top. Okay. Push that all down and just let that sit so that's going to bond. Okay. Mm. Um, you would with your son or right. child. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. Oh, yes. And what that's going to do is if we, see how nice and thick this is? Mm -hmm. If we actually got wood and stacked wood up to be that thick. It, it, You'd be way a ton. It'd weigh yeah, a ton. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. this is what I was referring to, because when I saw you use this foam, I was like, wait a minute. Right. Why did I think of that? So you're going to have the hard wood on one side, yeah. and this actually is soft. So you're going to get that. And you don't need. It's not a structural thing. Yeah. It's right. a filler. You want to yeah. get that oh. thickness. So brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm telling you. Yes. Of it. Yes. So now what I have here, this has gone ahead and dry. And if you see what I've done, oh, look see what on the side done. here. You've got the wood, you've Let's got spin it a little bit more this. so they can see Here that. we go. There we go. Oh, here we go. So all I've done is oh, gone. There we go. There we go. All I've done is gone through and cut it so that the um, insulation foam is the same shape. So no special measuring, no special right. saw. And all I'm using is just a serrated knife here. Okay. So I'll finish so it up. Just followed it all the way across. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mark, you want to? You want to? You want to do it? Sure. Yeah. Now, did we tell Christina that this is? Uh, <laughs> Don't tell Christina that I took we, her knife. And I, that just cuts actually, really I go simply. The other way, cause I got to see got where it? I'm going all right. here. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Do you whistle while you're working? Uh, or do you do this, this is the first time I've even been this close okay, to something good. that this kind of works. So. <laughs> to a bagel knife? There we go. Perfect. This is what put, I put that on my bagels. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't cut beds. <laughs> All right, so let's spin it All around right. here. And so basically, this is the skeleton of our... Coming over that way. There. Okay. So we're going to move it over here. Yep. And I'm laying it down here on a sheet of batting. So this is just polyester quilting batting that you get at the um, craft and store. And does this store. come in R ratings, or is there a different density? This to actually the batting? does come in thicknesses. You do not have to pay to get like the expensive, super nice. You want something, okay. right? That's okay. all we're going to do. This is going to do is just soften our it's curves. A bit like putting a diaper on. Pretty much. You yeah. know. See, there I'm you go. Now you're I'm talking with, with diapers. Okay, you want to pass us some staple guns? Sure. There, there you go. There one for you. One Thank for you. you. And you're okay. just going to pull it tight. We've done this for okay. a million different things. Now, eventually, what? There's fabric going to go over this, right? Right. Exactly. So all we're doing now is getting our um, our frame. And once you've got this base, the nice thing about it is that right. you can really go back through and do any sort of bedding, you know, on top of it. Sure. This is just getting us our... And then the excess stuff, you just... You just yeah, we'll cut off the of. excess stuff later. Oh, well, I've been stapling the excess all around the outside. I figured you maybe <laughs> wanted that, but... Well, you okay. know... You, you you're quite that. ham, you know, hey, I saw the way you... I'm good at shooting these little... These you gun you're good at yeah. stapling. You yeah. don't want to get your thumb caught under the Stop staple. It. One thing you do want to make sure is that here, where you've got your curve, is you want to get oh, that I, nice I goofed that up. and tight. Yeah. Because you want to be able yeah, to Brennan. read that. Well, well, Who was in charge of that corner? All right. So All this right. is oh, the first. Okay, so I, that I, I already did. You're saying. All right. So let's flip it up here. Okay. Let's flip it over. Up we go. Yeah. Let's go this way with it. Good. There we go. All right. Nice. And, and as we'll, easy as that is, we'll go back through here yeah. and um, tighten you know, things up a little bit. But. Tightening things up a little bit. But basically, there you've got is this your Mark's side. I think this was Mark's <laughs> side. <Yeah. laughs>